Hey guys, Motocar Not Here, and today we're going to take apart and disassemble the uh, block Subaru 2012 Forester. I have uh, many videos if you're following this. This was this engine had an engine knock, and I explained how to take parts out off of it in each different video. The first video was uh, engine knock versus piston slap on a Subaru, and then you follow all the videos, and you're going to get to this point. Okay, and that's what this video is about. This point, this uh, video from here is to uh, split the block and find out exactly what happened. So, from this point on, you're going to take off the, um, the water channel over here. It's, um, it's 10 millimeter bolts, one, two, and three, four, and a hose over here, and three other 10 millimeter bolts. And you're going to take this off. Okay, this comes out of the way. Okay, you're gonna have some uh, O-rings over there. We'll put this on the side. And before we split the block, we gotta take um, the hose off over here, that bypass hose, and everything else over here. Now we're gonna flip it over and go to the bottom. So now you got the oil pan, 10 millimeter bolts, to take them all off. Okay, I already did that, simple. All right, and now over here, you're gonna take this uh, this this um, uh, piece off. It's uh, 12 millimeter bolts all the way around. You find each one where they all they are. See, they're all the way around. Self-explanatory. Put them, you know, in in their own little bucket so that you don't get mixed up because you're gonna have a lot of, a lot of bolts. Okay, and then you pry this up. It's only glued on. Okay, again, I released this too. You see that? It's gonna have three O-rings right there. And that's what it looks like on the bottom. Okay, let me go put this down. So now we can see the crank and we can see the pistons. Now right away, uh, let me get a light. So now we can see the two, number four, Number one. Oh, there you go. That's the engine knock. Oh, that's a big one. So obviously with that much play, it destroyed the crank. It destroyed the rod bearing. I mean the rod, the connecting rod. So at a minimum, I'm going to rebuild this uh, block because it's already a part. I'm going to examine it. No sense to get a junkie. I want that I'll have to take apart again. And I'm not going to just throw it in the car. I don't trust it. I'd rather rebuild what I got if I can. Okay, at a minimum, we're going to need a crankshaft, a connecting rod, main bearings, and rod bearings. Okay, this one looks good. Let's crank it up again to the others. I can see they're already the same color, so they're fine. No play. Fine, no play. The bearings are probably all scored now from the bearing material, but we're gonna take apart the bad one over here and gonna get it like at a certain angle. And we're gonna look at that bearing. All right, no bearing. That's all messed up. The bearing disintegrated. There's no, there's not even, no bearing in here. Okay. So now, got to take it out. It may not look bad, but that's bad. You measure it. I'm going to measure it to see if I can even get a core, uh, a core credit. If it's out of spec, for, you know, to regrind it, might as well not send it back. Because, you know, they can't use it. All right, I'm going to take another one out and show you what a good one looks like. Here's, the, here's one that wasn't making noise. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. No good. This one's getting ready to go, too. Everything has to be clean now. But get an idea. Like... You know, it's still got a shine to it. It's a little bit worn. That could probably be buffed out. 
but compared to this one, where well, it's hard to see, but it's very, you can feel, it feels very rough. And that's not good. It's got to be very smooth like this one. Okay, so when you just get them, I just put a, something wood in there so it's not that, that um, it doesn't hurt anything. And then you just pull this thing out. Okay. No good. Yeah. It's showing a lot of wear. And most of it is from that bearing dissolving and going everywhere. Cylinders are probably gonna be okay. I gotta check them out. But it was burning oil too, looks like it. They're known to gum up when if people don't change their oil, they carve it up so bad that if you see this third ring over here, that's the oil control. It gets all crudded up and it don't move. It, it loses its springiness to scrape the cylinders and it bypasses and goes into the second ring and the first compression ring burns oil. And then from there, it's, you know, it's all a downfall. And this can happen to any car. That's why you got to always maintain your oil. Oil is simple. Oil, not just the oil, the air filter. Car's got to breathe. Car's got to lubricate. And car's got to cool. Cooling system. All three. Got to maintain them. You know, these cars cost a lot of money. You know, you maintain them with like $40 worth of oil. And every two years, you change the coolant and the air filter every year or so. And who's better than you? Okay. So now, I'm going to take the rest of the pistons out. Also, when you take these pistons out, always mark which cylinder they came from. And when you, if you're going to replace them, you see the arrow there? This arrow over there? That arrow always points to the front of the engine. So that would be this way. And if you notice, these, these are bent a certain way. Okay, so the uh, rod has to go a certain way too. Okay, so I took off this the number two, and sure enough, pushed it out of the way. That's the bearing right there. Okay, this one was just getting rid. Oh, here we go. It moves a little bit, but it was getting ready to seize as well. So according to, uh, I'm gonna measure them, but this one doesn't look like it. It's it's destroyed. I mean, there's really no heat either. But if you see over here, well, it's turning, so that's a good thing. But um, yeah. They're all destroyed. I just wanted to show you that. So, like I said before, this one, see how, how much heat it had? I'm gonna replace this one. These are the bearings. They were almost all getting ready to seize. These were the ones that were locked in I just showed you. Then they're, they're not that bad. As far as uh, they're not seized, it's not gonna destroy the connecting rod. So, they're all gonna be, um, I'm gonna replace the pistons too, but these three rods are good. I have a spare rod I can take out of another engine for that one. And now we're gonna split the block. And I'm gonna put it on I'm gonna put it on the bench because the uh, engine stand's holding it together. We have 15 bolts. Okay. We have one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh, fifteen. Okay. So I'm gonna put it on the stand. Then we're gonna. Well, I'll loosen all those bolts now, and then I'm gonna put it on the stand to uh, split it. I'm gonna loosen all those bolts just a little bit on the stand, and then we're gonna put it on the bench. All right, we got it on the bench. And now what you're gonna use for the uh, inside bolts is gonna be a 12 millimeter, 12 point socket, okay? And they're gonna be in there pretty tight, so you maybe wanna use a half inch drive with a, uh, well, this is not a breaker bar, but if you have a breaker bar, if you don't, I, I use this, it worked. 
with a long piece of pipe to give you more leverage to crack them all loose in there. They're in there. All right, now you take all those bolts out and the top ones are 12s as well. And we're getting ready, we're gonna split it. Okay, and what you're gonna wanna do is split the block, get a piece of wood, put it here, give it a nice shot with a hammer. I already did a little bit, you can see it comes right off. Here, here, and then you flip it around, maybe give it a shot here, and then here, and she'll come off. And that's it. And then it separates. You got your bearings there. Crank is very small. Um, but it's packed away in such a strong unit. I mean, it, when it's when it's put together the proper, you know, the way they designed it, it's a really strong engine. It's just that, you know, nothing can uh, overcome lack of oil. You know, oil starvation, that kills everything. This, this, everything is gone. I took it apart, it smells like fire. All the bearings, they're all gone. Everything's gone. Actually, this block is not the block that I was showing you guys, because this one I'm not gonna take apart because it's fine, it was just the um, connecting rod. But I had an old one and I told you I was gonna split the block for you guys and I did this older one, but this is all junk. Everything is junk. This one smashed the uh, block and destroyed the block. So this one is not good. And you know, I'm gonna do a video on re reinstalling everything. I can show you how to do this, uh, how, to, how to put this back together with new uh, bearings and a crank and all of that. And I'm going to stop this video right here, and then I'm going to continue the rebuild on the Subaru 2.0, 2.5 liter FB engine. All right, guys, motor car not, please subscribe, hit the like button, any questions pertaining to the video, leave them below. I answer all my questions, try to help everybody out. If you learned something, I save you some money, I would appreciate it. Super thanks for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for all your support.